We are gonna be doing some Easter little activities and treats today and I wanted to bring you guys along. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And today's video is going to be just that. This morning, Aubrey woke up clenching her ear, screaming in pain. So I just got done bringing her to the urgent care and she has an ear infection, went and picked up her medicine. And I gotta say, I'm really proud of myself. That was something First time experience, like I mentioned in a previous video, I get a lot of anxiety and then her car seat wasn't in the car because we had switched it out. And so like this morning I had to get all of that, get Jack out of the house. Like Aubrey was pulling me out. She wanted to go see the doctor. And I'm just really proud that we got through it and I was able to successfully bring her and it all worked out. And I praise the Lord for giving me the grace to get through today because I was really stressed and it was like okay well you know this has to be done and so I did it and I'm proud of myself but now that we are home my parents are actually here and visiting and they brought some cinnamon rolls like the prepackaged ones and I wanted to show you guys how to do a little Easter treat so Aubrey is resting on the couch watching some TV hopefully that sound won't be too loud in the background uh, if it is maybe I'll just do a voiceover we'll see but uh, we're gonna do some little bunny cinnamon rolls and if I get to it later, which I probably won't, we'll probably like bake some Easter cupcakes or something, or maybe I'll just share what I would do and then we'll do it in a future video. And then I have a little craft idea that I wanna share. So let's go to the kitchen and do that. So like I said, we have these pre-made cinnamon rolls. Uh, I was gonna make my homemade version of like a Cinnabon copycat, but with Aubrey being sick and my parents being here and our house being a disaster, I just figured it'd be easier to go with the store-bought one. So my mom bought me this, uh, saving me a trip to the store. So thank you, mom. So you're right here. And I know you're gonna be watching this later, so thanks. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take these out and unroll the last little bit and then make little bunny ears with them. But first I have to preheat the oven and the instructions on this say 400 or 375 for nonstick. So I have my parchment, no, not parchment. I have my silicone baking mats on my little cookie sheets here. So I'm gonna do 375 and show you guys how to do this. Okay, so these don't have as many spirals as you would expect. But essentially the idea, if you guys do have a little cinnamon bun that has um, like a bunch of spirals, is you undo the last little bit and then you make two little bunny ears by folding it like that. And you have your little bunny cinnamon roll. So if you wanted to make something bigger, you could probably break one of these in half and add them to the sides of another one. But you know what? I actually kind of like how this looks and it'll keep the portion size a little bit smaller. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and do. Okay, so these guys are ready. They Some of them look more bunny-like than others, but they are ready to go in the oven. So let's go ahead and bake these for the 13-ish minutes that it says to take. All right, these bad bunnies are out of the oven. Uh, this I think is my favorite looking one, but you know, for the most part, you could decorate with sprinkles or put like little eyes or whatever for the bunnies, but Let's go ahead and frost these and, you know, obviously give them a try.
Okay, so I had some of this on hand. We're gonna make cupcakes eventually and put these on there because Aubrey's been like dying to open it up. But I opened it up and then I went ahead and decorated the bunniest looking cinnamon roll to look like a bunny. This will be Aubrey's when she wakes up from her nap, which she's taking because she's again, not feeling well. So she's resting right now. And here's our little bunny cinnamon roll. Okay, so these cinnamon rolls were definitely delicious, but not as delicious as my copycat Cinnabons. So I will link the video where I share that recipe up above. I think I also shared it in my uh, gender reveal video. So I will link that up as well. Make sure to comment down below if you guys give this little tiny twist on a Cinnabon a try. I would love to hear how it goes for you. I obviously think it would work better with like a distinctly rolled cinnamon roll. The ones that we got were not like with the like line very clearly distinguishable or whatever so uh but i mean obviously like i like i showed you guys it's doable and you guys can still make little bunnies with the the store-bought ones so if you have to run to the store last minute and pick up some things for easter you might as well pick up some of these little cinnamon rolls and make it a little bit extra special for your family so comment down below if you guys give these a try i would love to hear how it goes for you Next, I'm gonna show you guys two very easy crafts that you can do with your kiddos. Unfortunately, since Aubrey isn't feeling well, I don't think we're gonna be doing them and filming them with her today. So I went ahead and whipped up our first craft already for you guys. So what you wanna do is you wanna take really any kind of paper. I have some artsy paper that's like good for watercolors and you're gonna be using watercolors here. If you don't have watercolors, I'm pretty sure you could probably put like food coloring in water and maybe make some that way. So there's, you know, a way to still do this craft. And you also need a white crayon. Mine is a little bit ugly because I used it making a different art project, but it will do, it does the job. And on your paper, you want to draw any type of Easter themed item. I did a little egg and you really got to at least on my paper, look from the side to see where you're, you're actually drawing it. Cause when I was looking at it, like from up above, I really couldn't tell, which is kind of cool, especially for your kiddos, because what you do after you draw this design is you watercolor on top of it. And because you used white crayon, the design that you draw will then come through. So it really doesn't matter how your kids go ahead and paint on top of this design that you made it will come through and it'll be an abstract piece, but it will still have that design. So it's really easy. It was really easy to whip up. And I think any type of little kid would love doing this activity. And maybe if you have older ones, they could actually draw the design on with the crayons and the younger ones paint over it. And if you don't like the final look where it's like messy on the edges, if your kids don't paint to the edge, you can take some black paper if you want and like cut out around the symbol that you made and just kind of glue it on top to kind of give it that pop of color, but still have the artwork being displayed. So that wraps up the first craft. Let's work on the second one. Okay, so for this next little craft, you are gonna trace your little kid's hand like so. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You essentially just want to get the basic shape of all the fingers. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to cut the middle finger off and you want these guys to be at the same like distance down. So we're gonna kind of continue cutting down here. Now, before you guys could cut this out, you could have your kids color it or something like that, like an abstract thing. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to make it just plain and simple. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off my pinky so that it's a little bit more symmetrical of a cutout. And we cut across like that. So this doesn't quite look like a bunny but we're gonna fold in these outer fingers. And then if you see where I'm going, we can draw the little ears like this, do some little eyes, maybe do some whiskers, and maybe draw some little paw things. <laughs> But you could go ahead and then write your little kid's name at the bottom and you have a little bunny made from their hand. Now I do feel the need to say that none of these ideas were actually mine. I got them off of TikTok, so you probably have seen them floating around, but 
I really liked them and I thought that I would share them with you in case you guys aren't on TikTok or maybe haven't seen these particular ones. I thought that they were worth sharing. I'm sorry that we didn't get to see Aubrey in this video today. She has been sleeping most of the day and hopefully she'll feel better from her ear infection soon. Hopefully that medicine will kick in. But I'll be doing these activities with her when she starts to feel a little bit better. As far as the cake goes, I do want to share the idea that I saw. So I was planning on making just like a basic little box cake funfetti. I have some frosting and I wanted to use those sprinkles that I showed you guys earlier with the cinnamon buns. Those sprinkles Aubrey has been trying to get into for months now, so it's finally time. So I wanted to make a cake in celebration of Easter, but I'm gonna do cupcakes. And with a couple of the cupcakes, I'm planning on, if I get around to it, crushing them up and making cake pops, but using plastic eggs as molds. And then you open up like half of the egg, stick the stick in for the cake pop, freeze it, pop it out of the mold. And now you have a little egg that you can dip into the melting chocolate. So I just saw that idea on TikTok and I thought it looked really fun. Obviously I'm not doing it right now. My house is too messy and you know, with Aubrey not feeling well, it's kind of pointless to try to make tons of sweets and make it a fun time for her because she's just in bed. So please pray that Aubrey gets better from her ear infection. It, I feel really bad that, you know, she was in, in so much pain this morning and I hope that by sleeping and resting, she feels better soon. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.